Hello rail fans. We were on our way from Nahanta following uh, this Brunswick sub that goes to Waycross and decided uh, we would take some of the video since they've done quite a bit of work along this track to make it a double track over to Nahanta then up to Jessup. I see dead people. We were fortunate to have pretty good weather that day, even though it was threatening rain all day long. We wanted to get over to Waycross to try to get some more action. Uh, we hadn't had too much down in Callahan and Jack's area. scanner that this train was coming um, southbound on the Fitzgerald sub and so we decided to come on over to this spot which is Ossie Davis Parkway. Uh, the little road that's uh, behind us in this frame uh, at the crossing is actually Dresden and it's a pretty good spot. You can get off the road and you're out of the way and it's on a curve and it's also a slanted curve so be prepared for wheel squeal. If you look closely, you can see my wife bobbing and weaving in the truck uh, in that back window. Um, what it is, she wears hearing aids, and that wheel squeal really tears it up. So she has uh, adjustable ones, but uh, she she took them completely out while we was at this location. It's also her birthday today, and people think that's crazy that we do train stuff, but she likes trains as good as I do. I heard the DP unit coming and pivoted around to it. Looks like they need to take it to the shop and give it a good bath. It's obvious this train was slowing down as it's uh, coming. Uh, the front is probably very close to being in uh, Rice Yard. So they were slowing down and what's really tremendous to me is how that they have the ability to know exactly where the end of that train is. As you will see in a few frames uh, where he actually stops is, is simply amazing how they can do that.
Is it just me or do these guys that do this paint work on these train cars? Evidently they must have ladders. Uh, that one looks like that wouldn't have been done any better in a in a car shop where you had uh, something to stand on while you painted. Incredible. actually cut the uh, some of the video out because it was such a long train I kept thinking about the people at the crossing on both sides uh, I couldn't see the crossing that's in front of us on that side of SC Davis Parkway but to the left of us there was cars that were turning around going a different way to get around this crossing That street that it's crossing right now is Dresden. If you want to come back to this spot, it's Ossie Davis Parkway in Dresden. It's a really good spot. And if you see, he'll park that train just far enough down that the crossing arms go up. Neat stuff. We left Ossie Davis and came back on this side of um, Waycross and about past where that train engine, looking straight across that train engine is one of our favorite spots. It's at the end of a street. It's a very good place. It's very safe and off the, off the beaten path, but it's also right there at the track. We decided because of the sun, we would come on this side and um, have the sun at our back. My wife and I always talk about which cars are their favorite. Her favorite happened to be these cars right here. It's the hopper cars and they can haul coal, gravel, sand, anything that's not affected by weather. So this happened to be something she noticed and um, it was her birthday and she said look there's nothing but hopper cars and she said I've got a hopper car train for my birthday. I thought that was so sweet. It was something I hadn't planned to give her, but it just happened to work out. The Lord's good. This was September 14th, 2024. It was a Saturday and it was her birthday. We did see one more train after this one, but we didn't get a chance to video it. It was trying to get out of Rice Yard going back toward Valdosta, but uh, never could get the clearance to get out. And so we decided to come on home 
and uh, we went to a place in Valdosta called Austin Steakhouse. We got prime rib, and uh, she got a piece of key lime pie for her dessert for her birthday. Happy birthday to my bookkeeper wife that loves to keep the numbers. As you can see, she got her birthday wish because there was nothing but hopper cars in this train. We just always want to say thank you to all of our subscribers and people who watch our videos. We thank you from the bottom of our heart. And we just um, ask you to uh, like, subscribe, and share these videos. And until then, we'll see you next time.